Hey YouTube, so today we're going to be talking a little bit of zodiac signs, my opinion, and of course, just things you hear about zodiac signs. And today we're going to talk about the Aries, and I'm going to talk the, about the Aries man and the Aries woman. Don't mind me, I'm whitening my teeth. And I got a whole hour to go, so let's get started. I could be a little biased, but every Aries woman I've ever met, I loved. I just feel like this sound out. I always see Aries women have the little, you know, eye thing going on. They have the hair. Very much meant to stand out. I feel like the Aries women always stands out from the crowd. And she doesn't do it like the Leos where she has to be loud and stuff. I think she's just captivating with her energy. Could be a little hyper. I am an Aries woman myself. Aries have amazing sense of humor. Very misunderstood though. A lot of people misunderstand the Aries sense of humor. Also, I don't know. If you've ever been around a high vibrational Aries, their energy is intoxicating. It's almost like you get drunk off their little energy. They're very intelligent. Very, very smart, driven. I love me an Aries woman. But they're also very headstrong and stubborn and they could be very, 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 very aggressive. But let's not take away because at the end of the day, they will come through. I think they're very extremely loyal as friends. Like I said, there's a difference between the high vibrational women and a low vibrational women. So right now I'm just talking about the high vibrational. I never met an Aries that I didn't like as a woman, as a Aries woman. It's like it's an A for me. Because I understand them, like I get them very, very misunderstood for some reason. People misunderstand like their passion and their anger for like, oh, she's angry, especially when it comes to friendships. I feel like a lot of people take their like loyalty and like their, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but people always think that an Aries is jealous of them. No, they're not jealous of you. They're protective of you. If they're telling you you're manning shit, it's probably because you're manning shit. Because Aries women are extremely intuitive as well. They're, no, they don't want your man, girl. They don't. They're just telling you the truth. That you can't handle the truth that is on you. And that just speaks on your own traumas. If you believe an Aries woman is telling you that you're manning shit because she's jealous of you or she wants your man, then you need to go get help. Because Aries women are just looking out for you. That's it. And they may tell you things in a certain way that it might bother you. But at least they're being honest with you. And you probably will never find anybody else like that. Everybody's just going to tell you what you want to hear. Because bitches are fake and bitches just want to know your business. Aries, no. No. Oh, and don't, don't let me forget to tell you about that attention span. Aries have short attention spans. So if it doesn't interest them, I think y'all need to like move along. If you're boring, move along. If you're lazy, lazy, move along. I love me, Aries women. I can't even lie. Romantically, Aries women are very playful, childlike. Bitch, let me DDT you. RKO you real quick. And they like to play fight. A little play fight. It's play fighting, okay? If she punches you in the face, it, she's playing. Oh, um, and let's talk about them being protective. Aries women the most protective people, mama bear, whatever, most protective people you'll ever meet. In my opinion, they're just very misunderstood. I feel like people, just because they come off a little bitchy, like people want to put, paint them as the villain, but it's not that. It's like, girl, if you're fucking up your life, your Aries friend, she don't like that for you. She don't want that for you. She's trying to help you. How can somebody else want better for you than you want for yourself? And they will always compliment you. They're always going to tell you how good you are at something. Yeah, do it. And it's not about like they think you're not doing enough. It's not. It's, they're trying to motivate you. Because Aries are extremely motivated. So they want everybody around them to be the same way. But y'all ain't ready to hear that. Y'all love painting the Aries as the villain. And at the end of the day, alright, cool. I'm the villain in your story. I'm not going to defend myself. You can think what you want, girl. Because at the end of the day, I don't care. I don't care what you think about me. I know what's in my heart. Aries women have huge hearts. Huge hearts. But like I said, y'all are ready to hear that. Because the Aries is always going to be the villain. And that's cool. I'll be the villain. That's cool. 
Now let's talk about the Aries men. The other, the Aries men are a, a different breed. They're a different fucking breed. I have met some very, you know, masculine Aries men. They like to play fight as well, like the Aries women. Could be aggressive in their flirting. But I also noticed that they're very sensitive. Aries men are very, very sensitive and communicative. They like to talk just like the Aries women. My experience with them, it's always been cool. It's always been like, oh, okay, we connect. But, but it gets very toxic because they are very, it's very hard to change. Like, there's certain things about them that it's just like, oh, okay, like you're going to be stuck in your ways. And that's crazy. It's crazy when somebody is stuck in their ways. Especially if you want to like grow as a human being spiritually and somebody doesn't want to grow along with you, that is crazy. And I feel like the Aries men it could be stuck in their ways. They could be very stubborn and that's not okay. For us um for a zodiac sign that loves freedom, I feel like the Aries man is very one sided about it. Like they're not very very much about giving people freedom. But then themselves, they don't give a fuck. It's the double standard for me. But the Aries man, he he's a provider. He is a provider. That is one of the good things about the Aries man. He's very masculine in that way. He will provide. Will he be all lovey-dovey? It depends. I feel like if you are somebody who's open to it, like if you don't reject them, I feel like they will be that for you. They will be very loving and caring. Also, sexual. I feel like people who have matched my drive have been Aries men. Or just anybody with fire sign placement. But they can they they got a pretty high sex drive. It's it's pretty fun. It's fun, you know? Exploring the play fighting. I feel like the Aries man is always looking for his safe space. And he could be very loyal, but then you have that Aries man that is like looking for what you are not giving them. A lot of the times the Aries man gives, gives, gives and doesn't receive back. And that's when they're going to cheat on you. That's when they're going to cheat on you. If you have an Aries man that is stingy, you need to get the fuck out of there. They don't like you. If that Aries man is stingy with you, he does not like you, okay? Run the other way. If he is get, you're giving that man money, get the fuck out of there. I'm telling you right now, as a woman who has experienced a few Aries men, he don't like you if he does not give you money. If he doesn't help you in some way. Because he wants to see you do good. Remember, Aries want to see you do good. So like I said earlier, if he is not helping you financially, that man don't like you, girl. If you have children with this man, I feel like you're going to be taken care of. He's very good at providing. That's, a, that's an A+. Plus. A+. Plus. But if you're playing too many games, like you're doing the whole ghosting and stuff he's gone he's out of there it's like may, they do like the chase but it's like mm, you're playing a little too much yeah we're not with it that's what all aries have I, i'm not the one who likes to chase i don't i'm not gonna chase you if you play that game with me i'm done there even when you do decide to text back or call your number is already gone from my phone so be careful who you're trying to play games with. Not all Aries like the chains. And they also like that new feeling of like love. Love. Like, oh, new relationship. It feels good. So keep it fresh. Remember, they're the children of the zodiac signs. I feel like one of my Aries traits is eating little kid food. I love junk food. I love all that little kid shit. I love Lunchables. Little kid food. Go buy us some chicken nuggets. Don't love it. You get me some Lunchables. Babe, daddy. Overall, you're going to have some fun over here. You're going to love it over here.